The introduction to game physics with Box 2D, Chapter 4, A Soft Body Physics Story. In this demo, I'm putting together the code on uh, gauss sedel relaxation and valet integration that we saw in Chapter 2. And uh, we remember, we also saw a uh, simple version of it in uh, the video that I posted for Chapter 2. Now I've tied it to a real renderer. And we see we have two objects on the left, a pair of balls connected by a spring, and on the right, a pair of balls connected by a stick. Now, when we hit the space bar, apply a random impulse to them, and make them bounce around on the screen. By holding the backspace key, you can select other bodies. Here we've got two sticks and two strings connected together, behaving much as they did in the video for chapter. So easy. The springs are springy. The difference between sticks and springs is our approach to relaxation. When we're more relaxed about relaxation, we have springs. When we're rigid about relaxation, we have sticks. So we have backspace again. And now we've got the three sticks and three springs tied together. Hitting the space bar makes them bounce around in a very satisfactory manner. Getting back to this again, we get triangles. A rigid triangle on the right, a springy triangle on the left. We can get also a square. Now I've cross braced this square from diagonal to diagonal to make it more square like. We can get rid of one of these cross braces and things would start looking like fun when we bounce. Some wheel shapes, uh, a pentagonal wheel shape, uh, where I've got five particles connected by springs to a center particle. Again, springs on the left, sticks on the right. Finally, as far as wheels go, I've got six particle wheels, a, a hexagonal wheel, if you like. Again, bounce around. Now at the end of chapter 4, I put together a uh, ragdoll character out of Sticks and Springs. His name is Woody. Now let's bounce him around. So because of the way I've uh, rigged the Sticks and Springs, which you can read more about in chapter 4, he actually will stand upright. And by healing the space bar, again I can give him a random impulse and he will bounce around on the screen. You know, sometimes he remains upright, but most of the time he falls down. With all of these shapes, if you hit the enter key, it relaunches the same shape. So I can start him off again, standing up. That's it for chapter 4.